Hello Capricorn and welcome to Fifi and Gigi's tarot reading. So today Capricorn, I'll be doing a tarot reading on what it is that you need to know. What are the messages that need to come to you? So let's find out Capricorn. I will be using the Light Seers cards and the Easy Tarot. If you do wish to purchase your own deck, that's down below in the description box. Remember, Fifi and I only recommend the best cards. The illustrations have to be easy to interpret the cards. And again, I have a great connection to use my intuition to read for you, Capricorn. Our course will go live soon. The countdown is on. If you still wish to be part of the early bird discount, please email us your um if you do wish to be part of the early bird discount, email us your details and we will add you to the list and notify you of the early bird discount. Our course is self-taught. You can download the videos. And you will be taught by us everything that you need to know about Tarot. So thank you so much, Capricorn. Let's get started, please. What is it that you need to know? Mm -hmm. And we'll shuffle, please. Excellent. Underneath the deck, we do have the seven of wands. So Capricorn, if you look at this illustration, what do you see? I see you against six others. That's a little bit unfair, a very unfair fight. Defending yourself, defending your kingdom, defending the things that you love, your goals, not letting others put you down. So the big energy here is to have strong boundaries. Do not tolerate certain people. And I know it can be a little bit uncomfortable, but you may need to put people in their place. Because it's like you're making a bit of noise for some reason, um, Capricorn. And when you make noise, people pay attention to you. And they want to bring you down. They want to destroy everything that you've built, unfortunately. So make sure you do stand up to yourself. Picture also, notice that this person is not even a paying attention to these people. Again, if you can avoid these people, these people that are just causing perhaps trouble in your life, do not get involved also. It's not your circus. Let's have a look at these cards. These cards do represent the past. We do have the Knight of Wands, Page of Cups, and the Moon. Okay, so there's someone that you've met in the past with the Knight of Wands. It may have been at a gathering a festival, some sort of fun event where there was a lot of people. And again, the Knight of Wands is not afraid to take action. The Knight of Wands is not afraid to just go up to someone and say, oh my God, hey, I like you. Let's go out. If you, if you kind of know what I mean. It's a face-to-face. -face, it's also a call to action. So you definitely may have said yes to this person, again, because you felt attracted to this person. This person made you feel quite amazing, I'm going to say. Now, there has been communication, definitely, with the Page of Cups. There's like, this is a page of new love. But definitely communication more online, through social media, maybe through some text messages. But again, this is new love, curiosity, passion, flirtiness. This is a beautiful card. However, though, in the past, we do have the moon. The moon shows there's a bit of fears, an overwhelming of emotions. There's been not just fear, actually. There's been a bit of stress, I'm going to say, where we are feeding the emotions of fear, sadness, anger. There's something going on. There's something happened in the past that's caused the moon where Unfortunately, there's something going on and we can't see the truth. We can't, we cannot see what exactly is going on. We also see, like, unfortunately, when the moon comes, there's like it creates shadows and we cannot see what perhaps this person that you are involved with, but what they're up to. Perhaps giving a few vague answers, and it, it is causing quite a bit of confusion. Now, I am because this is a reading for Capricorn, not for everybody, but for some of you, there may have been a secret love. Also, with the moon, a secret love affair that's been happening behind your back. Let's look at the present moment. Three of Wands, Four of Cups, the Sun. 
Okay. So these cards represent the present. The three of wands shows you're waiting for something. You're waiting. You're waiting for some form of communication to come back to you. Because remember, the three of wands does show when there is. Perhaps you've stopped communication with this person and this person's waiting. This person's waiting for you to contact them. And I have a feeling for some of you, yeah, if this, you've decided just not to contact this person, perhaps. You're just giving yourself a break from this person. But this person is just still waiting, though, for you to contact them. The beating heart of the reading shows the four of cups. There's boredom. Not feeling inspired, feeling a little bit, okay, really bored. There's no passion. There's, there's, there isn't that spark. It's like there was with the Page of Cups. But at the same time, though, we are having fun. You're having fun, definitely, Capricorn, with the sun. Even though there is a bit of boredom with both of you, you're still having fun. You're going outside. It's like, look at the opposite from the sun to the moon. It's like, I feel like for some of you, you've gotten your clarity. You've got your clarity and you want to have start having fun now. You want to start going out. You want to start exploring hobbies at the same time. It's a very blissful card. Let's look at, <clears throat> excuse me, the, let's look at the future. The Queen of Swords, Seven of Cups, and the World. Okay. So, this person, the Queen of Swords. Now, again, regardless of gender, this person that you're dealing with could be of an air sign, so Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. So notice that this person, what are they doing? They're thinking, they're contemplating, thinking. This may have been communication from this person because remember, the Queen of Swords is all about communication. It's all about communication. But this person is communicating from the head and there will be definitely communication in the future. And with the Seven of Cups, you're going to contemplate. You're like, okay, should I rekindle this person back what should I do yes no what if this happens what if this happens the best thing you can do is to ground yourself with the seven of cups because you will be overwhelmed with emotions you will be overwhelmed with a lot of things that can go right and a lot of things that can go wrong ground yourself make a decision from your head a logical decision do not bring emotions to the table and you will find your answer now you end up though Capricorn with the world. The world is your oyster. It's like when you leave behind something and a brand new cycle begins here. Fantastic brand new cycle. You've left behind old attitudes, people, situations, and you're resurrecting into like you're peeling off. You're leaving your old self behind and resurrecting to start a brand new cycle here. So again, you have no problem though of letting go of this person because you're very headstrong in the sense that you know what you want. You don't, you don't like having fears. You, you want things to be in the open. You don't like playing games and you're ready to start a brand new cycle. Let's get some clarification cards with the easy tarot, please. Let's find out what is going on here. Okay, Capricorn. So the Knight of Wands, that's been confirmed with. Mm, okay, so we do have the King of Pentacles here. So again, this is representing someone that's come in offering you their pentacle and you saying yes here. But if anything, this is showing me more of you, Capricorn, because you're being very generous here. You're being really just like an open book to this person here. I feel like perhaps you even made the first move, Capricorn. And this person said, yes, come on, yes, let's do it. It's all good. The past has been great. If we look at the page of cups. Yeah, you've got the two of cups. True love. 
matching and mirroring each other, sharing the same goals, sharing the same values, having a lot in common. So there may have been a lot of flirty, a lot of um, laughter, exchanging messages, feeling that excitement, like being teenagers again, just having that beauty where you're like, oh my God, this is so much fun. You're having so much fun with this person. You feel like this person just gets you. But the moon, what do we have the moon? Yeah, you've isolated yourself from this person with the hermit. There's something that you saw. Because remember, the hermit, Virgo energy, they see something. This, the, the hermit is a, a wise old sage. They have life experience. They know if there's something going on. And I feel though, Capricorn, in the past, there's something that you saw and you're like, wait a minute, something's not right here. So you retreat. You, you prefer to isolate yourself than to be near this person because there was something going on. There's some sort of secret or behavior. They're acting out of character here and you just saw it. You just saw it immediately here. And again, what I do love about the hermit, you also self-reflect. You've done a bit of self-reflection in the past in the sense, okay, Let's look at the pros and the cons, the positive, the negatives. You've learned quite a lot. You're much wiser now with the experience that you have gained in the past. If we look at the present moment with this person, uh -huh, there's been arguments mm -hmm, with the five of wands, egos clashing, finger pointing, words being exchanged. And this person, though, however, is still waiting for you to contact them. I don't feel like you're going to be reaching out, but they're actually still waiting. It's like, okay, Capricorn's going to contact me. Yep. It's, it's despite what's happened here with the five of wands, this person's, I feel like this person is still waiting for you to come back and contact them. With the four of cups, we also have the nine of pentacles. Remember with the nine of pentacles, it does show when there is someone that's single, Capricorn. And I feel like this is really referring to you that you're single. However, though, you're not lonely. If anything, when the Nine of Pentacles does show up, this is reminding you, Capricorn, to start celebrating you. I need you to put you up on a pedestal. This is not being egotistic. No, this is all about self-love. Because you've come a long way, Capricorn. You've done so much. You've, you have accomplished so much. You deserve a pat on the back. Definitely. Don't be too hard on yourself because of what's happened here. No, no, no. You've done great. Please remember that. So reward yourself. Splurge yourself on something. Be kind. Reward yourself. I don't care whatever it is, but you deserve it, Capricorn. Absolutely. And even though sometimes you may feel a little bit bored sometimes, no. Get out of that head space. Because, again, your life is great. The sun. Yeah, so we do have the five of pentacles here. Capricorn, I feel like perhaps you rejected this person. And because of that, you have the sun. You feel liberated. You feel alive. You feel like, oh my God, I'm free. I have freedom. The five of pentacles, again, is all about the part of rejection, being blocked, being missing in action. And this person, they have the five of wands, while you have the five of pentacles. I feel like this person has caused a bit of trouble with lots of arguments. So I feel like Capricorn, what you did, you know what? I don't need this person. I don't need you. So now you have the sun. You're like, oh my God, this is bliss. Now for some of you, if this hasn't happened, the sun does lessen the blow of the five of pentacles. You're going to be super fine, Capricorn, whatever happens. But I do feel though that you're going to be rejecting this person. If we look at this um the person as the Queen of Swords, yeah, we also have the Knight of Wands. This person is going to try and contact you again in the future. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. This person is going to try and win you back with the Knight of Wands, and it will be a call to action. So I think they're probably going to give you an ultimatum. They're going to really reach out. They're going to be very passionate with their message and maybe face-to-face. We, because we also do have the queen of swords, be logical, Capricorn. Don't bring emotions to this table. If we look at the seven of cups, 
also the king of wands. Seek a friend. Seek someone that you may know that can probably help you. Don't make a decision on your own. Because you do have the Seven of Cups where you're full of decisions, you're full of options here, there could be a really good friend here that you can probably turn to to help you, to give you some form of advice, some guidance to help you in this situation. But ultimately, ultimately with the world, yeah, you do have the Queen of Swords. Ultimately, you will be making a decision from your head. I feel like, though, you're going to be beginning a brand new cycle and leaving this cycle behind here. I don't feel like it serves you. I don't feel like, to be honest, that you really, it serves you to be, no, it doesn't serve you at all, Capricorn. Let's, let's take out more cards. We also have the Page of Wands. This will come down to a message. There will be some sort of message, but you feel like you're just going to regret it. What are you going to do with this message? Let's have a look. Yeah, see, we also have the Eight of Cups. You're going to be walking away, Capricorn. It's, let me, um, you reiterate something, you're not going to be walking away saying, oh my God, poor me. Oh my God. No, if anything, you'd be like, see you later. I don't need you. You're going to be in a position of power. You're going to be in a position of, hey, I know what I want. I don't need this. Ultimately though, you've gotten the queen of swords twice. If anything, the big message here in the future to I need you to think like the Queen of Swords. Be analytical, logical. Do not bring emotions to the table. Remember, the Queen of Swords in traditional tarot, she removes her heart. She removes her heart just to think with her head. She always has a sword too. The Queen of Pentacles is the type to cut someone's head off and then ask questions. I'm not saying to do that, of course, but what I am saying is to be very stern. Be assertive, be strong when it comes to communication. If this person's not communicating clearly, keep pursuing for them to speak up, to understand the situation more because, because the, Queen of, uh, the Queen of Swords has come out twice, there needs to be clarity here, some form of clarity of communication. And it's super important to communicate exactly what you want. But overall, Capricorn, I feel like overall in this entire reading, you're going to be in a position of power here. You're going to be in, in the sense like you're going to decide where this is going to go. You're going to decide whether to stay with this person or not. Ultimately, though, I don't feel you're going to stay because, because you do have the sun. I feel like you're going to be even happier that you're not with this person. If anything, you'd be like, I can do whatever I want. I can live my life by my own terms. I can go out. I can explore my hobbies. If anything, in this reading, it's trying to tell you, Capricorn, that you have freedom and independence on your own. There's definitely going to be happiness somewhere else for you. But if anything, I feel like this person, unfortunately, can cause a bit of arguments. There may have been, like I said before, some sort of secret love in the past, maybe with an ex. But there was something here for you to wise up and say, hmm, I don't like this. What's going on here? Remember, like I said before, Capricorn, you can see someone's BS from a mile away because you do have that experience and that knowledge with you. I hope this reading has given me a lot of clarity. Thank you, Capricorn. I wish you a beautiful day.